Hello, Marnie. Hello, darling. It's me, Tyrese. It's me, Daphne. And we're back with episode two of The Gag. Because <laughs> we ain't got a gig. Oh, we do have gig. That's the old ones. Yeah, we can't say that anymore. What? Well, I can. I know. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. How have you been, boy? I'm all right. How are you? Good. I'm just in a heart beating, slow and cholesterol filled. For people watching it on the video at home, yes, my makeup is clapped again. God, Precious is here. Well, we've got no choice but to film the gag. Blows! <laughs> That's quite, that's quite good. That's that's quite good. good. Yeah, you should do that for a swatch game. Oh, can you imagine? Um, yeah, how, how have we been up to this week, Gorge? Um, nothing much. Same old. I've recently started re-watching... Do you remember um, As Told by Ginger? No. It was this cartoon. All of the dolls on it fucking slapped. Like, the girls looked impeccable. Wait. And it was about this girl who, like... It's just about her life, really, and just about her going to school and like all of like the the troubles that come along with it. And it's really good. It's got a, a theme tune by Macy Gray. So she, Macy wrote the theme tune, sung the sung theme, the theme, theme, theme tune, tune, formed the theme tune. Wait, so what what network was this on? I don't remember watching it as a kid. Oh, so it was probably one that I couldn't afford. But oh, I, I would it? say like Nickelodeon, maybe? Oh, Question mark. When did it come out? Is it like old old? When we were kids. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so young at a heart, Goo. I don't know what you're talking about, Goo. It's about 50 years old, then. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy queen. Comedy queen. Now, what were your favourite shows growing up when you were young? Um, well, obviously Tracy Beaker yeah, was we'll the mecca. Yeah. Um, was obsessed with Raven purely because I had a crush on him. Not that so Raven. Oh, I, I, was, just, I was like, oh, Ellen is a lesbian. Yeah, a lesbian. There. lesbian there. No, wait, got a vision. I also really enjoyed my parents at Aliens. That's. that's Did you see the one with out. the tits? There's an episode, like, no, we're ha yeah, yeah, called, yeah. Called thanks for the memory. It's very clever. No, <laughs> the um, big Charlie XCX meme. Yeah, and I, I, <laughs> Charlie XCX, what? Yeah, there's a there's a picture of Charlie XCX with like massive tits, and it's like room, room, bitch. Big booms. Big booms. Shout out, anyway, and see that episode, like screen caps of a Pokemon episode where James has tits. Yeah. Did in like a bag of beauty competition, like, look at these, and they're inflatable. These have always bought me laugh. Well, I mean, we laugh. I mean, that walks, so like, Bailey J. Mills could run, isn't it? Well, both tears. <laughs> I can't stop watching their latest video where they were like, nah, too many snakes, snakes in, in the, the grass. grass. Too, too many snakes in the grass. What's your favourite Bailey video? All right, I'm here to do some DJing. Okay. Put well. your ninja away. <laughs> 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 I think my favourite is probably, I've got a top three, I'll give you a top three. One, we were, for a big part of last winter, all of my friendship group were obsessed with, now listen here, Troy Bolton, if you get between <laughs> me and Drama Club one more time, I'm going to tell everybody that you have got a cheesy cock. I know because Martha Cox told me. <laughs> she told me she sucked your cock. Um, I was really like, we also come obsessed with the subway one, like, cheese and toast, ketchup, mayo. But my favourite one. Yes, please. Yum, yummy, yummy. Gobble, 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 yummy, yummy. And I'm also really into um, the, the original No Thank You one with the haircut. But specifically, just no, as she turns around and goes, Wowza! <laughs> Wowzer! No, oh, girl. we love Bailey. Have you met Bailey? Yeah, we oh, did. We did um, brunch with Birch together. Oh, well, brunch without Birch. Without Birch. Why wasn't she there? Did she have COVID? I think so. Yeah, and then the second Holy time tammy. that I was meant to do it, I got COVID. And they didn't do so anyone, did they? We we've never we've never collided. Yeah, but you're you're together in spirit. Well, because you weren't you? Oh, spoilers! Well, not spoilers for nothing. Uh, behind the scenes, T B T S, not like the band. Weren't you in like a? You said you were in a forum or a chat group with her or something. No, that was Kim. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was Kim Petrus, Mama. I'm not before, the same at all. Before she was famous, and I have to get Maxine to fact check on this because I know she watches. Hiya. Hi Maxine. Hi Maxine. No. I don't think you have no. Um, wretched, wretched old hag. Work. Pretty sure. Unless there was another Kim who was aspiring to be a pop star and had transitioned at her exact same age from Germany. We were in an MSN chat with like a bunch of dolls Work. from like uh, around the world. And Kim was there. Kim would never really talk much, but like Kim was like a big deal. Like I remember Kim Petras being like a massive deal when I was like, like 10 or 11. Like, yeah. I, like I, she blew my mind and then like went quiet for a bit and then suddenly like now she's popping them in the hills. Yeah, is that like a reference to a song? If you want to pop one in the hills. I don't know. I gotcha. Okay, well now she's... She's with the Hillside Boys? The Hillside Boys. Have you heard, have you heard her new song with Sarah Smith? 
No, I haven't. It's like, actually slap. Someone did it lip sync. If Madeline had his book saying, hey Madeline, hey girl. No, um, they did it at lip sync and it slapped. Also, because Baby was in the music video. Gag. Yeah, and, and it's, uh, Baby, listen, shout out, she's probably not going to listen, <laughs> shout out to our season four sister Baby. Baby's been eating this last couple of months. They did that Summer's campaign. Videos. And they did that, and they just did Hot In It with Charlie XCX. Yeah. And they're and good on like Jekyll Black campaign at the minute, you know. Well, I, I had some beauty baby PR earlier this year. <laughs> and she was in that really famous girl band, what were they called? Destiny's Kids. No, no! no! <laughs> Joke about it was a joke about this last episode of Dragon. Oh, triple threats. Oh, <laughs> I, forgot about... I forgot about that kiss with a Z. Yeah, why was it like Destiny's Child? Or, Destiny's uh, Kids. Because um, that was Vanity, Cara, and Baby, isn't it? I forgot about that. Was that before or after Vanity film Jag Race? Because I feel like it was right. I after... would presume before. <laughs> I don't know. Because... She ain't got time to do it. Yeah, but I mean, Vanity was doing drag for like. Vanity started drag right before she'd the crown and then beat us all. Where well, so... she beat you. Yeah, and deservedly so too. I flopped, but you know. Well, do, uh, well, if I can find the photo, we'll put it in the video version, but I'm going to see, I'm not going to look for the photo, but I didn't find it. So basically, the crown, it's a competition in London. And there was one week where it was, where it was Camp Diva week. <laughs> and we weren't given our ca Camp Divas, and we were given like a bucket and had to pick a name out of a hat. And who was in competition? It was the top five. So it was me, Ashley Fox, Anna Tony, Cici Lee, and Valentine Milan. Cici Lee from Cici, Cici Lee. And only only one of those people went on to hit the ground running. And um, so basically, we had to reach to the bowl and pick out a name. And I remember Ashley went first, and she picked out Diana Ross. And I was like, oh, you're on the bottom next week without fail. And she was. But I was like, because that name is clearly put in there for Vanity or I. And the fact you've allowed Ashley Fox. So why leave? to charge. I think so. that's cunt, isn't it? So then I, I, and I got Dolly Parton, and Mama it was rough. And Styled then, by me, and got sent <laughs> home on no, the I, same. I, no, I, no, I, I literally that week, you, oh, no, okay. I, I went home the following week. Um, no, because who... It's all down to my wig. Vanity did Julie Andrews, and Tony did, um, like Judy Garland, that one does like come rain or come shine. That's cute, yeah. right? Yeah. And then Sissy Lee did Bette Midler. And so I was so poor. The problem was with the crown. Well, there's some, no, actually, we're going to say that's a competitions episode. So put a pinpoint in that competitions, one. Competitions, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Need money. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Well, I'm getting it. I'm, we'll go back to our fin dogs. <laughs> come on, car back. Um, but the no. amount of people that were like, I never knew you did that, you saucy little miss. I was like, I promise you, it was not sexual in any kind of way. Rewatching it back. It made it seem like I was sitting there in my Anne Summers like pleather yeah, PVC like, like ready like, boy, you piece you're like, of shit. <laughs> sounds like hard, I hate to have you like quiet cash pig. It on. was always just like me just like sitting on my bed like drinking a drink, being like, oh, I can't be asked to talk to you, kind of thing. There's a really popular. I don't know if she. I don't know if it's public knowledge. So I'm not going to say her name. There's a really, but you know who I'm talking about. There's a really popular drag queen in London who's like one of the best drag queens in London by far, and she um she used to be a dominatrix. I don't know if she still is. I think she but, still um, is. Yeah. yeah I, 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 Exactly who you're yeah, about. I'm out, but I mean, I run the, the power to her. Cause I feel like I feel like I could either have some acting training. I feel like I couldn't commit to it. I think that's what the problem is. I'm like, if someone's like, yeah, punish me, I'm like, I'm like, more homework for you. Flick your nose. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that like, the idea of actually having to commit to the full. Cause you know, a few people do um, don't make yourself like there's some gag. Well, yeah, he's work at revenge. You know, she's oh, moved she to, not anymore. No, she went, I think she went to legends. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's that's the natural yeah. progression. Well, she's over 30 now. I was just like, you know, yeah. our, our time's coming too. Much like Gag! Do you see? He mentions revenge. Oh, and they're like, I know, like, yeah, yeah, like, 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 so my old housemate Jack, if it, I know he does this thing, he said he loved it on a walk home yesterday. He said, "Hey Jack." Hey, hey, um, so he matched gag because you know, it's just like if, some, if I match like Zac Efron, I'd be like, "Yeah." Because I find like celebrities don't celebrities have that like private Tinder where like you have to pay like an extortion amount. Ra Rada or Ra yeah. Raina or I think Rada, it's, Rada's it's a drama squad. Like... I think it's Rada. Oh well. Um, no, but I'm I was sure like, they pick up a lot of boys there. Oh, Benedict, did Benedict come back? No, Benedict went to Lambda. Um, such a neek. No, but uh, she, um, <laughs> <laughs> she, um, what was I talking about? You just shut me. Uh, gag. With yeah. a lot of boys, matching with a lot of boys. It's like a big, yeah. like, cult following of, so like, then, just little twinks that get followed by... Checking that little And one. then, and then get 
blocked. Yeah. Well, no, if it's you a... don't respond. Well, no, quite the opposite. It's... Gag. And so then Jack blocked him on everything. Blocked him on Twitter and unmatched Why? him. Because he was like, oh, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to get gag. We say this until I'm on like RuPaul's Drag Race season pie or whatever. And gag. What do you say about me? You cuss me out. The gag. <laughs> I heard episode two. No. Um. And then he got a message. Gag. Being like, oh, um. Uh, on Instagram be like, hey, I thought the way you just ghosted me was really unkind. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that made me crazy. Maybe should the got name. A, I've got a friend who... Gag! ...messages, he's into the tea girls and always messages her, like, constantly, and like, hey, beautiful, hey, sexy. Gag! Or with gap in her teeth, let's get the London low, like... I got a gap in my asshole. No. <laughs> So vulgar. That's disgusting. So vulgar. That's fucking disgusting. Okay. <laughs> Back to Tinder. <laughs> the theme of this week's episode is dating. Ooh. Ooh. Are you talking to anyone at the minute? I'm not, no. You're focusing on your studies right now. Yeah, yeah. I got a Uber from oh, the God. same guy that came and picked me up came. and then also <laughs> dropped me off. And then when I left, he winked at me and <laughs> to be like, I remember you. What? Are you being track or not? No. Oh. So that's... Uh, uh, that's, 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 my, that's my dating story. I had glue. Don't, well, glue glue got upset. We didn't mention her last week. So hey, glue. Hey. But glue, to, I found out from X that glue um had a sexual encounter in drag with an Uber driver at some point this with week. With an Uber driver. Yeah. So I don't well, know all the way to work. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know any more about it. So glue, yeah. glue, hit us up in the comments. Give us the tea. Well, she has to become a guest in order to tell that story. No, 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 no. Na, 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 so tell me about tell me about your, the best date you've ever been on. Best date? Yeah. Oh Jesus. Were they, were they all that poor? I honestly I don't think I can tell you a good date. <laughs> that sounds really depressing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had like a proper rock solid like, oh this was a gorgeous date. Yeah. I've I've had many, 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 many first dates, not a lot of many second. Okay, okay. Well, so I'll, I'll, I'll take you out sometime. What was your best date? Um, was it picturesque? Not really. I'm trying to do. I don't think I've had a lot of great dates either. It's probably single. See, this is the thing. Yeah. Uh, no, I guess like the nice, the most pleasant date. Because I also actually, in respect, I found the most pleasant dates I've been on have been the ones that were like the person was really pleasant, but I don't think we necessarily had a lot of romantic chemistry. I was dating some boy just before COVID. It was like what winter time. We went on two dates. Went on one to. Oaxaca. So I was like, okay, I guess we're committing to like no sex on the first date or whatever because of like, a poorly tummy. Or... I went there on a, on a first date once and had like cricket legs or something and I was like, oh, I'm really adventurous and crazy. And I was like, so I like it. And Why I is that with you? And I was like, I spent 15 quid on something that I could have like picked up outside. And they're like, do you like, do, do you like the meal? Like, and the next one, no. Free, free. No, thank no, thank you. Why? Are you, oh, why? I've also felt it lucky because I'm vegetarian. Because I feel like, you know, there's only so many ways you can go wrong with like bean medley or whatever. <laughs> 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 it depends on what you're doing yeah. later on in that date. Yeah, but I, I, again, yucky, 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 I was yucky, like, okay, yucky, yucky, if we're committing to tapas and a main, that means no six. Um, no six. No, no, no six at the end. Um, but then we're on a second date, and it was really complimentary. And like, I think, like, not, not turn offedly so. More in the way that I was like, oh, I'm like, it's making me a bit uncomfortable because even though like all these compliments are very genuine, they're just speaking very highly of me. I'm not really really used to that. Did you know you did drag? Yeah, yeah. So basically, I met them because uh, I met them. At... You meet a lot of people whilst you're in drag, but then you don't date them in drag. Other than that time, <laughs> <laughs> you're such a cunt. Okay, right, we're doing this. Okay, there's this person called, um, we're going to call him Billy, because I'm not going to say his real name, because that's, that's muggy. Um, also, if you think, looking at me on the video, if you're looking, watching the video at home, do you think I look like a microphone, yes or no? Do you know what a boobar is? Okay, I'm going to have to come back to Billy. Uh, so a boobar is this, like, horrid thing that was on CBBS. They had these little furry balls, like a head that pokes out, and they, like, would roll around and speak like boobalies, like, very Animal Crossing vibe. And my friend Eric, who you mentioned last week, is going to be a regular recurrence, um, he told me he's... Staple uh, cast member. He had, um, really it should be a free word of podcast. He had, um, <laughs> I a... I like, met Eric, like, <laughs> once or twice. 
<laughs> feel like I've known him for a yeah, lifetime. And, and then like, each time we meet him, we go, like, oh my god, like, remember this story? And he's like, you weren't there for that. Like, you might have lived <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, it's funny though. No, um, so basically, he, uh, he used to have a boo bar when he was young. He told me, oh, he had to get rid of it. Because one day, like, like it had like a voice box in it. So he'd like, do it, like, pop out and go like, bleep, 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 or whatever. And then one day, <laughs> their head got stuck. And then the voice kept playing. So sometimes when he'd try and pry out the head out, because the battery was running low, he'd just be like, <laughs> and then he kept he started having nightmares. He was like seven. He started having nightmares that one day the head would pop out and he'd be missing all the flesh. And it was like, <laughs> RIP headphone listeners at home. Um, yeah, okay, so let's talk about Billy. So Billy. Has, <laughs> <laughs> Billy often came to the club and I've never like indulged. Has in, he not come back since? No, he's been travelling. He's not come back for more. Well, no, he, he, well, he said, oh, oh, let's not come back to that. No spoilers. No, um, so he uh, would come to the club, and one time he was really flirty with me. And the thing is, like, I flirt with, like, any shape boy who comes when I'm in drag. Because it's just, like, kind of funny. But, like, not, and it's not actually, like, a serious, like, you're taking me home in that sugar bear. It's more like, oh, this is just, like, pissing. So he then, um, so one day he... You're into piss play? I like, I've like, got many things to my bone. All the That's what that yellow ribbon was on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hunker cheese. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. well, uh, Dainty Tompkins. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, anywho, no. So basically, he was like, oh, um, one day he was like, am I coming back to yours then? And I was like, haha, like, chuckle, chuckle. And he was like, no, I'm being serious. And I was like, oh, um, maybe. And I took his, like, Insta snap or whatever. But then I, I was just like, there's no way, girl. One day, so I, I mentioned on the last episode, I was dating this boy called Will, who was super, super lovely. I actually spoke to him yesterday. Um, we were just like, we just kind of like romantically were apart, it was fine. Uh, and it was right before our second date. I didn't go to the club, even though I, was, I didn't have the night off, even though Rain, my house right now, it's actually incredible, joking, and gorgeous, stunning, whatever, was like, oh, come out tonight. And I was like, no, because there's this person going out, who I'm not going to say name of, who I got with the last time I went out. And I was like, I know I'll end up getting with him today. I don't really want to get with someone right before. I, I don't want to kiss someone, the irony of the story that's about to come, right before I go on a date with someone else. So instead, I sat indoors and then Toxic had just won Lip Sync for Your Life. So this one last one when? July? And they were the guests on a Saturday. And then I didn't know that. I couldn't remember that they were the guests. So Glue and X are performing. And then Billy texts me to be like, hey, um, Whoever's on stage right now, get me their number because that's so fit. And I was like, I know he's not talking about Glue X. <laughs> no, no, because like, oh. I think he likes, the, yeah, yeah, I think he likes the melanated dolls, um, or what he perceives to be one. Not the dolls. Um, but I was like, I ain't seen no dolls. No. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, action man, um, stretch man. Or, no, but he, I was like, what? <laughs> Eric's blue ba blue ba. I was like, what? And when I had a look, it was um, toxic. So I messaged him to the duh. And then I was like, oh, it's blank my bank. And then he was like, so what are you doing tonight? He's like, no, he's like, are you up for a meeting? And I was like, what, in life? He's like, no, right now. I was like, oh, I'm not in drag, sorry. He was like, how long will it take you to get in drag? And I was like, <laughs> red flag. I was like, red I don't. Flag. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, how much do we get you to dress up? Sorry. I was like, dress up. And I said, define dress up. Let me get my box out. <laughs> and he was like, I was like, define dress up. <laughs> and he was like, as long as it takes you to look like a woman. And I was like, I think you've really misinterpreted what it is I do and how quickly it takes me to get from A to Z. <laughs> and he was like, okay. Maybe like half an hour goes by and I, I, I'm like, horn noir anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What is the point of the story? Um, <laughs> I don't want to hear about you being hornoir. <laughs> it's because I'm black and horny, hornoir. <laughs> uh, anywho, and then he messaged me like, to be honest, I'd probably fuck you if you had just the wig on. And I was like, shall I do it? I was like, yeah, fuck it. I so remember I, you live texting me at the time. Like, <laughs> no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And then, uh, you were like, send pics or it didn't happen. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. So um, I put on my big braided wig with the updo. And I was like, okay, I'm not wearing a terrorist garment because they're nice. I'm not getting like fluids on it. I'm not wearing boy clothes. Oh, and I'm not get listen, you're getting realness on this podcast. I, I'm not wearing boy clothes. So X had given me a raise hell t shirt dress to give to glue. And I was like, I'm wearing that. So it's just me in this t shirt dress, like a little Rose like some a, a little jock strap and then like this wig. And I drop earrings. So I was like, oh my god, I'm giving them the femme. Um <laughs> 
so you can just wipe your <laughs> earring away. Like. So then he appeared and he, like, he got to my house. I went upstairs. I knew I was like serving, like swishing my long braids. I might be just like just uh, just landing under my cook good, so like he can see it as I was walking <laughs> out with her. I also I just remember my mom's gonna listen to this. She, like, she was like, I was saying that. Well, love you, mom. Well, she talked about like okay, uh, mom's different story. No, um, so at. Uh, so Billy, uh, almost said their real name, I was like, okay, we started like falling around and, uh, and he was like, I want you to throw me around. And I was like, okay, like a, like an, like a metaphor. He was like, no, physically. No, so like I'm a li blue blonde. Yeah, I'm literally, a blue blonde. <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> picking him up and throwing him against my bedroom wall. And I was like, how does that active not wake up? I do not know. And then it gets to the point where like, he goes to like, start to pleasure me. And I suddenly snapped to be like, snap back to reality. I was like, I hate this. I was like, this is hell. I'm I hate this. I, I was like, I'm trapped in the prison. Like, yeah, but you are living it, mama. I was like, oh no, I think the acting training in me came into play. And I really liked the character and the scene <laughs> the I was, role was yeah, over. <laughs> I was at the scene I was performing, um, which reminds me of another story about Libby. But, um, uh, but now it's actually just sex. Now it's I'm like, a oh, now <laughs> I'm like, this is hideous. This is heinous. So, um, this is anus, no, no, not, not, not here, not and also like TMI. So, we were like doing bits over, and then I, I asked him to like ring me, and he was like, Oh, that seems really gay. And I was like, You're, oh, I was like, You're, this is wild. I was like, You're literally begging me to fuck you with this wig on, but the idea of rimming is too gay. gay. I was like, Grow up, oh. grow up. So, now I was like, I was like, Oh, I'm getting flat up on second, I can't do this. I literally had to pretend to finish using a toy or whatever, just so I wouldn't have to actually like go. <laughs> And then, um, and then he, so he finishes and he immediately falls asleep. And I was like, oh no, oh no, I can't do this. He's, I can't have him stay here. So I'm like, also, oh, how tired was he that well, he had just like, immediately just like, right, no, no. Yeah, I'll put him to work, mama. No, because my, my point this happened is like three, four. Um, and then, so I'm like thundering around the room, getting out of drag. So I was like, I'm not sleeping in the wig, not doing all of this. And uh, as I leave the room, I see him watching me out the corner of his eye. I was like, oh no, you've pissed me off now, cunt. <laughs> I was like, you are awake and you're choosing to ignore the he fact that I... He just wants night, night cuddles. And I could maybe have even tolerated sleeping in the same bed, but because he was fully naked, I was like, I don't want, I don't want it touching me in the middle of the night. Like, <laughs> it's like the scene from Bridesmaids. It's, it's like looking what you at were you, saying like, five minutes ago. Yeah, well, no, 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 five minutes ago, I was, I was having to fake it because I was like, oh, God, can you get me through the scene? Yeah, five like, minutes ago, please rim me. <laughs> but again, I'm not, uh, <laughs> not having this. Oh. Nothing you wouldn't do if you were Right, right but... let's take a break. <sighs> This is too much. I can't do with this. Gag! And then there was this whole thing afterwards and then I had to get him out of the house because he fell asleep and then Rain came home from the club and we were just laughing downstairs and he re he appeared like seven o'clock. Even they texted me like seven o'clock in the morning, like how do I get out of the house? Like out the front door. He's like, can your housemate go in the room? Because I don't want to see me. I was like, oh, not you know being so- <laughs> Why, so because that's gay? I was like, so full of shame what you've done, Billy. Why am I protecting him, Andy? Oh! So, full so full of shame. I was like, get out, get out of my house. And then as he was leaving out, out, out the door, Rain and I waved out the window like, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> No, but um, yeah, that's my two cents. But the Libby thing also, she told me when she was with her ex, uh, one of the first times they had sex, he was like, oh, should we do like role play? And she was like, okay. And this is while she was training for her acting degree at Bath University. And he was like, okay, well, and she was like, I'll be like a masseuse or whatever. And she said, like, Tyler, oh, not my government name, Taris. It was so uncomfortable because she was like, I just got like too into the character. So she was like, Hello, I'm Olga. I give you, <laughs> I give you old style massage. <laughs> and he was like, okay, work. Um, if you want to ask me about my siblings <laughs> and my parents, I've got the full family tree <laughs> in my head. And she was in a, in like, accent. Five minutes in, he was like, oh, Libby, I just kind of meant like rub my shoulders and then like touch my dick. <laughs> and she was like, oh, and she was like, well, Tyler, what was I supposed to do? Like undersell the character? I couldn't do that. And I was like, yeah, that's fair enough. So one time there was a, a guy that I was out with who was straight out of 2003, like probably hadn't washed since then, all of his comedy references from, from that, and the entire time he would just do like Bora impersonations. Ooh. Yeah. And so, what, like, the, we, we had we had dinner, and they brought they brought the the food to the table, and he just went very nice to the waitress, and the waitress even looked at me and was like, "Thanks." <laughs> I was like, oh, no. "Oh no!" But like, he did it so much to the point where, like, I thought I was on like a game show or something, and like, someone You've was giving me yeah, genuinely. Um, there was another time that I went on a date with this guy who. 
just did not say a fucking word. <laughs> like, just didn't say he anything. He was nervous. He was so quiet the entire time I was doing all of the talking. And I was like, do you know what? No, okay. Leave it for five minutes. Don't say anything. Make him say the next thing. Mama, we sat there in silence for five minutes. And I, I had to break the silence. And I was like, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I'm going to have to wrap it up early. Yeah, oh. And then he was like, I felt like his carer. Like, it, like people were looking at us being like, he's like, he just told me some like really horrible, like, horrible, like, horrible news. And um, we, we get up. He tries to kiss me. And I literally just like w go like this. And I just go, what part of this made you feel like it went well? And he was just like, I don't know, I just really like you, you talk really nicely. I was oh. like, yeah, because that was the only thing, fucking thing you could listen to. Yeah, you weren't like, saying like, shit. Why would I talk? Well, what's that saying? Like, you've got two ears, you should listen twice as much as you talk. <laughs> no, so what's the longest relationship you've had? Longer? I, I, so I've been single pretty much my entire adult life. Me too. Um, so the longest relationship I had was like when I was like 16 and it was like two months. Work. Not and work. that was, that was, Lack of work. that was not a, a pleasant, mm. pleasant relationship. But um, yeah, pretty much I've just been, just been doing it on my own. I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm part of like a video dating, like. <laughs> Aww. So I'm just trying to find my other partner, you know. Yeah, the old ones doing like the VHS the tape, like I like long walks on the cat. I feel like it's that very much this. We come as a package. Yeah. <laughs> Ebony and I, right? <laughs> um, no, okay. I Chocolate and vanilla swirl. Um, have I had a relationship? Not properly. Like there's been people I've like, like I had my friend at uni. Or... I've never known you to be in a relationship. Because I haven't had one girl. No, um, well, I mean, like, when I was at uni, that's the person I was on and off with. But, um, but we, we're still good friends. Well, I spoke to him yesterday. You're part of my Instagram story because he loved the wig I wore, which is not the wig I'm wearing right now. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know. So, what do you think, like, you look, what do you think you look for in a partner? Pulse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was that like, on the dance floor? <laughs> Um, honestly, just to not be an asshole. I meet too many assholes. Um, We've all got one. Oh, I, I know you've been meeting assholes. You get them to rim them for you. Yeah, they're quite the opposite. Oh. They refuse. <laughs> Lack of arsehole. That's one of them. I just can't be asked with the whole dating thing and like the meeting up and like nowadays, like doing what we do, like we're, we're not meeting oh, people organically. You're making us sound so old. Like, no, it, but this is the Tinder. No, but this is the is that nobody goes to coffee shops field. anymore it's a whole fucking minefield to like try and like navigate online dating mm. and like i just can't be asked with the hey how are you blah 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 like i just i just want to skip to like can we good times good so then it never gets to the good times i remember, yeah, I remember when i was and at good uni, times let me have some dates i remember when i was at uni I, um, I matched this boy called brian on tinder and we went to same uni together and I'd gotten with him maybe about once or twice in the club, but um, I didn't. I didn't pursue anything because I saw it on and off with another person. I remember once saying to him, like our, our Tinder message, I was like, "Hey, how are you?" And he sent back this paragraph, and she was like, "Whoa, a lot." But I was like, "Why is it a lot, though?" Actually, I was like, "I don't think it's a lot." Because she was just saying, "Oh, good, yeah, I did this today, da, da, but it was wild." But I didn't, and they just explaining his day, and I was like. Yeah, why am I like, why am I, why am I sh taken back by the fact he has just actually interjected with a full conversation? That's what's I'm supposed to be like, good, thanks, you. <laughs> and not even the word you, it's just a letter with no, yeah. like, uh, no question mark. Not even the HBU? It's like, it's like on Grindr. Like, I've just kind of had to forgo using it in Brighton because I, even everyone's like, everyone's either people I recognise, I know I don't like. Or well, so often as well, people message me on Grindr and they're like, Hey, Terrace, what are you doing on here? Wink. I was like, it's 2 a.m. Like, what do you think I'm doing on here? Or well, totally, quite the opposite. I, I, no, I, 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 I literally never have hookups. I was like, no, this fucking Andy thing was the only thing I've. My only <laughs> sexual encounter I've had like, last year. That was the only role you took upon yourself. I don't, and, and, and I don't think it's turned me off again. So I'm like, I might as well become a eunuch. At this I point. used to use Grinder to get people to come to the club. What, when you were like, like anyone someone? want guest list? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I remember being with you in Loading Bar. What was it used to be called? Seaside Quest, where um, Fuchsia von Seal was still on the switch. Shot of her. <laughs> where she stole <laughs> all of the tips and the switch. <laughs> oh no! Uh, but she again, Brighton legend, professionalism yeah. so, so at its core. I'm obsessed. With... Should we do a sleep paralysis? 
I thought this the other day. I know things like the moment I agreed to it, I I know that we agreed. You're, you're gonna regret it. it. You'll regret it. You're gonna regret it. I think it is on an episode of American Horror Story. You're gonna need another one. If it was like me, you, and like who's a Kiki sister, like X or someone, we all did it with. Has Beach. X done a sleep no, process? No, so she, yeah. she, right, she, she, she's just not a fucking. Yeah, she, she doesn't mean now. shit to me because she hasn't done a Caroline yeah. show. Should we do it? That's true. Guys, comment below if we did like the gags takes over sleep Caroline. What are you laughing? We're man. It's called manifesting. Manifesting. Do you believe in manifesting? She's got a um, new venue now, Fuchsia Bond still. Where? Mucky Duck? Uh, I don't know where it like is, weird. but she she posted earlier on being like, after all of that drama from my last venue, I finally got another one. I like, messaged Anshabi, I was like, right, I'm hooked, go on and tell me yeah. the drama. And it was just like, she just didn't promote the, the place, and so <laughs> they got put up. Um, do I believe in manifesting? No. Oh, okay. That's, that's not good, is it? I don't know, I think like... I believe you believe in manifesting because the very first time I ever met you, I saw that you had a credit card and I was like, why why, why do you have this by any chance? And she was like, oh, I'm getting on Drag Race. <laughs> well, it hasn't happened yet. I don't... It hasn't happened yet, but it will fucking happen for this bitch. Um, thank you. I know, I don't... I think I less believe in like manifesting as an abstract concept. Like, I don't believe in like, if I speak it into the universe, it will like... Me looking at me. your mood boards right now. I've got, I, was like, I, was like, I, I can literally see a pile of dirty eyeshadow. I was like, I was yeah, like, a mood. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, sad one. No, I, I think if anything, I believe in like, if I keep saying things aloud, they have to. I'll have to force myself to do it. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, more, that's just called discipline, though. Yeah, that's like, so. I think it's less. Like, I don't believe in like or well, the universe. I was like, no, no, no. I'm just telling everyone. Like I'm gonna do this thing, so I have to do it. Do I mean that? And the only thing, the only thing I haven't been able to do that with, unfortunately, was I wanted to the show because I started it so many times. And this is the problem. It's like muck secrets. Yeah, the muck nugget queen. Because I, I recently, so if anyone doesn't know, I wrote a one woman show for um, Fringe 2020 called um, Ballad of Black Barbie. And it was just about my life, my upbringing, and like, uh, all told for your song and spoken word and lip sync and comedy. And then by the time, like, it was COVID, lit. thank you. By the time COVID ended or whatever, I was like, oh, like, it just doesn't speak to me anymore. Like, it's been like two years, I've moved, I've changed much as a person, as an artist. Like, I don't want to just pull that, like, project back together. And at the time, well, I'm still technically employed by McDonald's, that's the thing. But I was like, at the time, I was like, really working with McDonald's all the time and just transitioning from being a McDonald's employee to like a full time Jack Queen, which is lovely. So I wrote this show um, called Muck Secrets Confession of a Nugget Queen. And so it's, it's framed as like a fake expose slash like just comedy show set in a burger. Uh, St. Ronald's, like a non-specific burger <laughs> store. Um, and it was just kind of like, it was about my journey, my weight and stuff. And then it was one of those things that like, I was going to do it in the fringe. But I was like, oh, I just don't really have like the means to put it all together right now. I want to do it one day. And it's, sometimes I'm like, oh, if I, if I ever was to do like a television show, I don't necessarily just drag race. Or if I ever was to have a reason where like, my platform suddenly dramatically increased, then maybe I don't want to do it. Because I, I, it's one of those things like, Battle Without Barbie was clearly written to be like a one person, this is me doing it on my own. Mm -hmm. but I think the way I see Mook Secrets in my head, like... <clears throat> I have I, me as the Grimace, yeah. my yeah, well, okay. ex-girlfriend as grimace an Amber Gillard. You, but... No, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was like, I don't think I'd have the, the finances and the means to execute it in the way I'd want to do it. So I was like, what's the point of even doing it? I'm just doing it like a shoddier version. Yeah. I think you should do a one person. I, I love though. dating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, right now we're talking about dating yourself and bringing the positive things into your I don't own, know what, what, what my one woman show would be. I feel like it would be like set in like a living room where I just crochet a blanket and just twitch out for about two hours. Oh, I'd love that. No, yeah, I can see it nice. in like That'd a fifties nice. diner, like as like the stern coffee woman, like what you having, Mac? <laughs> <laughs> and he's spitting there like pancakes. Did you see how it's ASMR videos for Jack Grace Girl? It's like babies like ASMR dancing over. Yeah. Danny Beer's got one where she's like serving tea and she just spits in the tea and drinks it. Oh. And I was like, work. <laughs> That's Dracula shit, my Work, <laughs> rim me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I'm cutting this whole episode. This is going to be lost in time. It's going to be like the Gwan blank episode. I can't. Oh, I've that. had I've had a lovely time this week. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's like therapy. This. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're talking through all my problems and you're just cackling at them. Yeah. Well, oh, because what happened? Didn't you also go on a date where like he bought two of you and didn't tell you each other about the other person? Oh. Right. So I was talking to this guy for a really long time. Everything was going really well. Blah 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 blah. And then we had like mentioned about meeting later on that day i was like oh yeah it's gonna be really nice like oh, i'm with friends now but i can go and like meet him later on 
and then halfway through he was like oh by the way I, I have another girl here if that's okay and I was just like is this is this normal like is this like a regular thing that people mm. do um so I went past and um looked inside and he was there with another girl and I was just like I'm not doing this this is I'm not turning up and it being some fucking like sitcom where I was like and who was this yeah. <laughs> like, but you think it's like back to back like <laughs> this one do you remember the guy that i was meeting up with with him to go to the bikini. beach yeah yeah <laughs> i was going to the beach because when you live in brighton like tinny's on the beach like bog standing first day yeah so i just assumed that we were just gonna have like a few drinks whatever blah 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 it was like in the evening and he was like are you bringing your swimming costume and i was like oh I no lol whatever it was like Oh no, please do bring it. I'd love to see you in your swimming cosy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, absolutely fucking not. So I just blocked him there and then and just never showed. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Yeah, well, I mean, you're a lovely looking woman. I mean, you wanted to join the fan company Me of a and lady my like. Tr tranky knees. <laughs> I, What's listen. those ones where it's like a full body and there's like a nice little like polite skirt? Oh, um, a tankini, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, you've got your modesty sarong. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, <sighs> that's really funny. I don't know, yeah, I feel like, especially, I think that's a lot to ask someone about like the idea to have like, you have to be body like posy on the first date, I mean. Body imagine, posy. Well, yeah, listen, you've watched out you've watched watch out for the big girl or give it up watch for the big girl. Watch out for the big girl. Watch, watch that out. was great. You should definitely watch it. Give it up for the big girl. There was one um oh, Eureka. So it's meant to be like an audition process and like people get eliminated each week. Mm -hmm. And there was this one girl that did did it on the audition and Lizzo was just like, No, do you know what? Fuck it, you're hired straight away. You don't even have to do this competition. Work. She was incredible. Well, yeah, I, I, it's, it's a great show. I was her, like, oh, can I have a bit more air time, though? Like, yeah, right now. <laughs> like, no, I like you. Yeah, no, can't. but then she came back, like, as a mentor, like, oh, later what? on. Sick, like, sick. We could do that. I could do that. She's like a mentor, but, like, she literally was like, just gap, yeah. auditioning with the guy. I did a tefu with the guy. I was telling Coffee about that earlier. Yeah. No, uh, there's this Catherine Tate sketch. Also, wait, I keep bringing it up to people. I don't know what it is. Um, Daphne, what is the what is the name of the show with the salmon confit sketch? Oh, um, oh, I don't know. Oh, it's like two women's names. It's like Jenny and Ellie and Natasha. Ellie and Natasha. Okay, cool. Yeah, because basically there's a sketch that in the show me the other day. <laughs> Daphne, <laughs> Daphne showed me the other so day. Silly. And it's just them like a like, cooking show, like Harry Hill or something. It's like oh, it's like meant to be like a like a Sunday a, brunch. Show. Yeah, and it's like oh, the the salmon comfy, and they all clap, <laughs> but like the clapping just goes on, goes for, on like, for like a minute and a half. Woo! Woo! And they lean in and like clap at the table, and then Harry Hill stands up. At the end, they just go. And next up, rag and bone man. <laughs> And I was like, oh, is it, sometimes I really miss like just doing like, not, I don't know, like sketches and skits, but like I used to be, when I first started doing like drag, I was definitely like a comedy mix kind of girl with, with a speckle of dance. And, and I'll just kind of become like a fully fake musical theatre girl, I find, like political and musical theatre. I just never really make comedy mix anymore. Catch out a musical theatre show at Arco Beleno. Oh, yeah. on, how often? Um, once a month. Next one's 29th of um, October, October 2022, in case they want to listen to this next year. Why? Is, is there reverb? Is there <laughs> some echo? <laughs> well, yeah, you're going to be in the November one. No. <laughs> and now it's been established as Kevin. I, I, we've manifested a Daphne gig at Arco Beleno. Catch but, our sets. Um, who's doing an Arco Beleno show today? Oh, it's Alec and Toxic. They're doing like Gaga versus Beyonce because it's supposed to be Glue and Alec. And now, why don't we do an Arco Leno versus? We could do like uh, who Mariah versus Nikki. It, only Dolly you... and who's Dolly? Half me. Of them. And Dolly. I was going to say Dolly and Cher, but then I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh horrid. Why don't we do <gasps> Daphne and Celeste? Yeah, but it's got to fill out. Two... Ustic U. It's got to be two hours worth of material, Daph. I don't. Yeah, know. we could do Ustic U quite a few times. Yeah, and ugly. Or, um... And L U G L or whatever. Okay, someone's got dyslexia. How do you spell out the L? It's for the way. That's love. Yeah. And that King Cole. Oh my God! Also, people at home. I'm, 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 I just might be. <laughs> it was like feed the birds. I don't bird. know. Yeah, I don't know where that um, comes from. I used to be in this choir with the minor details. None of this is about dating. No, I just made this quiet with the minor details. 
and they did live lounge at our school all the time and Michaela and I who were like the, two, the other person was in it my year so we left and we went back to watch the following live lounge because we were bored it was like oh we're only like 16 still so it wasn't creepy but then um the theme was air so like or like sky or something so yeah it was like sky so people were doing like no air and like um wings were a little mix and for some reason a minor detail said feed the birds like <laughs> a chorus feed the birds that happy. and I was like Oh, like, I remember arguing with this girl called Kate in my details because she was like such a music bum lick and she wanted to be one who friends with the teachers, but the teachers didn't really like her. And she always, and what, what the big part, my favorite part of it was because we went on an international tour and it was technically international because it was England and Belgium. Because that one time I performed in Canada. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, and she, uh, I was, so my, I technically already left school, but because it was a summer, I like was able to go on a tour still. And then, because I was no longer a student, the teacher, Miss Wood, would just slag off all the other students to me and be like, oh, uh, she was like, oh, you're now the adult confidant I have. <laughs> and she was like, oh, she can piss me off all day, whatever. Oh my God, I need to fuck Ruby. Don't. We're coming close to the end of this episode. I'm going to save Ruby for the school days episode because Ruby. Okay. Ruby, I'm ready. Make I'm ready. I picked a bug out of Daphne's wig earlier. Ooh, you're saving it for I was like, how long has that been there? Leave it wrong. The other day I was wearing my Bam Bam wig, the big long one, and I gave it like a little sh sugar to get ready. It was for, um, and then a bee just fell out. And I was like, oh my god, bees are <laughs> a not. Bee? A bee? I was like, bees are not in the season at the minute. So I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how long this has been tracked for. Oh, Jack Grant, who works at Potty Glam, also works in London. Hey, Jack, love you to pieces. See you on Monday. Um, see you when this episode's out, girl. He is, like, horrified of wasps. One time there was a wasp in my room, and I'm like, I was like, oh, swatted it away towards the window. Like, I saw it a couple of days later, and its stinger had gotten caught in the net, so it, like, starved to death, Ooh. but was, like, perfectly preserved. I was like, oh, well, I've got big plans for you. So I took it and put it in, like, a little room box, and I, I went to dance with Jack Grant, because he goes to his dance school together, got called Goldman's, we were, like, 16, 17. And I was like, I got you a present, sugar bear. You're and so like, horrid. And he was like, oh, what is it? And he opened person. it, and was like, oh, it was, it was very like Mammy Two Shoes out like, hopping on the um, the stool, like eek, eek. Um, and that's how Sue sees it. Right, should we wrap it up? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. We talked about that. Get it wrapped. Yeah. Yeah. They're getting way too big for their boots. Um, funny stuff. I don't look like Stormzy. Yeah, yes, that's a question, for image. question for another time. Thank you so much for listening to this episode, my lovelies. I've been Tyrese. I've been Daphne. And you have watched The Guy. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next Bye. week. Bye. Oh